find Trudy. You like Trudy, don't you? Thing is rock solid. Okay. Next time he'll have me bummed by a big gay werewolf, I swear. This is my view for Lesbian Vampire Killers, released in 2009. Lesbian Vampire Killers stars British comedians Matt Horn and James Corden. I've never really been a big fan of their work, except some bits from a TV show called Gavin and Stacey, which James Corden co-wrote and created. Apart from that, I never found them very funny, so it was with a lot of, well, worry that I went to see Lesbian Vampire Killers, their first venture into film. And I really shouldn't have bothered. There were a few moments of laugh out loud, possibly two moments, apart from that, to be honest to me the the rest was barely amusing it was you know it was there it was okay i'm not sure i liked the backstory about all the myth of the vampires and kind of that kind of dragged it down for me a little bit um i don't really like matt horn which is one of the black hair i didn't find um one of the like slick black hair i didn't really find him very funny um james corden the other one he he's quite funny he has his moments and was probably the highlight of the film especially the joke about when he was laughing about the sword and then the following joke about the sword. But even that, they, they kind of carried that on a bit too far. But still, you know, he was the highlight, in my opinion. Now, before I make my next point, I'd like to state that I know this is an easy target, okay? I realise that, but I can't not bring it up. There is no way I can do this review without bringing up the similarities to Shaun of the Dead. Maybe if this type of, British, uh, this type of film hadn't already been done by two British actors and comedians, it would have been better, but I couldn't help but feel this just came off as a weaker version of Shaun of the Dead. Even from the standpoint of the characters, you have one who broken up with his girlfriend and the other who tries to encourage him to move on and forget about her, like Shaun of the Dead. All in all, there is one or two big laughs, but the rest is really well, meh. I think my friend I saw it with put it best when he said it was forgettable, and it was. Country air. Nothing like it. Smells like normal air with cow shit in it. 